Whew. It doesn't feel like it's that hot, but I am sweating like crazy today. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick scout out before the tournament starts. See what the water looks like. Oh, great, there's a nice trench right here that I can't get across. Which way should I go? I think I can get across over here. One of the rules is no pre-fishing the day of the tournament. Not as easy as I thought that was going to be. Not sure if I can get down right here either. <laughs> if I get down, I might not be able to get back up. My game plan is to start over here and work my way back and then go upstream some. Kind of shallow right here, but this looks like a really good spot. Not seeing any fish, but they're probably not right here. Oh, actually, no, there's a decent bass right there. Okay. I need to remember him. Probably a somewhere between between 10 to 12 inches which I mean it's not very big but I mean for the, these tournaments and the conditions we have around town that's pretty solid bass it's actually an old some kind of bed right bedding right here some kind of fish right there it looks like the cichlids actually cichlids are bedding up okay so I've spotted one that's that's a good sign go this way this looks like it's going to be the main fishing area but there's probably going to be a bunch of other people fishing it too i got to get here early before the rest of them got some flowing water through here so you'd think there'd be a couple stacked up in this area but it's super shallow though yep there's some tiny bass fingerlings there and it actually drops off right here so there could be something hanging out in this little area here Sort of a deep hole right here. Not not super deep, but just deeper than the other spots. So there should be something hanging out right here. But there's not really any room to get a cast out. Yeah, there's a little bit of room right here. And there should definitely be something hanging out right there. Some sunfish. But there should be a bass. There's like a rock cliff right there that drops down to about four to five feet. Some big sunfish out there, so if there's sunfish like that, there should be some bass. Oh, something big just moved over there. There's a bass, yeah, okay. This is definitely all, I might just fish the whole tournament over here instead of moving upstream. Even though I know there's some big, big bass upstream. That's, Bigger bass are, especially when it's hot like this, big bass don't want to bite anything, so they're really tough to catch. But little ones are always aggressive. And you catch three 10 inch bass, that'll beat out one 18 inch bass any day. Yep, there's a solid one right there. He's actually hunting, he's chasing the bluegill. Maybe not hunting, but he's chasing them. That's, yes. Oh, and there is a big one over there. That's got to be 16 to 18 inches over there. This one right here is maybe 8 inches. I don't know if the camera can even see that one. He's swimming by right now. There's a smaller one right there. There's even some other small ones coming up to check out the big one. Looks like this might be a bedding pair. And there's a bunch of smaller bass with them now. It's almost like he's coming to check me out. He swam up and then came up this way where I'm standing. It's like he's looking for me to throw something out there. Okay. Today is looking really good. I've spotted several bass. And a couple of decent ones. One pretty big one. I mean big for, for this area. So yeah, time to go get back to the truck and 
start registering everybody. Okay. It is tournament day. The tournament has officially started and I'm gonna make a long walk to the starting to the part where I want to start at. I didn't get to get out, get out of the area as quick as I wanted to, so it's probably gonna be a bunch of other people over there. Unless it's just too far for them, but yeah, that's probably not likely. Anyway, I'm gonna run with Runkle products today. I've got the swim bait here, and then they sent me a, a four inch Senko style worm, which I think that, that'll probably work pretty well today. It is 98 degrees right now, but it's not so bad in the shade, and luckily this place is full of shade. So, also 98 is my lucky number, so maybe I'll win one today. Okay. Probably made a little bit too much noise, but there's no way for me to get around this tree. It is literally like 200 feet long. And it goes into the woods that are just that I just can't get through. And of course I snagged something on my first cast. That's gonna scare off all the fish that were here. And I'm standing on top of the tree casting it. Can't get over it without I mean I can get over it, I just don't really want to do that right now. Not seeing the fish that I saw earlier. There's a couple smaller ones there. Oh, got him. Got one. And it was the bigger of the two that I saw, but it's still a pretty small one. It's only a couple of inches. And he shook off my bait. Of course he did. Uh, he's actually eight and a half. Don't move. Sorry about the crotch shot there. There we go. And of course, gotta take another one. That one wasn't in the picture. All right, eight and a half inch bass. It's not much, but it's a good start. Oh, something blew up on it right there. But I didn't even see anything. Oh. Ah. Looks like he might have pulled me off the hook there. Yep, sure did. Pulled me off the hook. This spot's too nice. There's no way there's not a bass hanging out around here. Got one. And it's a bass. All right. It's a tiny one, but it counts. We are about the halfway point, and I really have not covered very much ground. So I'm walking back. I'm gonna head back towards the bridge, fish the other side upstream. <clears throat> Most of my stuff, yeah. But I've also got a discount code and everything too. Oh yeah. Uh, only if you use my Amazon affiliate code or links. But they keep track of all the all the. Uh, who uses what coupons and all that so 
but but if like I also have the Amazon affiliates count where if you buy through that I get a commission on everything all right well there you go I caught two fish for a total of 16 inches when I mean most fishing tournaments people catch one fish at 16 inches you know but that's just how it is here uh, during the tournament I thought I was doing pretty well because I caught those two like right away but then nothing else for the rest of the tournament and then uh, I think I ended up being in like fifth or sixth place or something like that the winner had 56 total inches so 40 inches more than I had uh, second place at 34 inches and then we had a tie for third place at 27 inches so yeah it was a pretty decent turnout uh, a lot of fish were caught I think 20, 20, 21 people showed up and a lot of people caught fish which is pretty good I mean most of the time only a couple people catch or one person catches or something so worked out pretty well uh, everything I was using was from Runkle today so go check them out at runkle.com and thanks for watching see you next time